It's mid-November 2022. We're up at Corrie Brewer in Dunoon. We've rather optimistically booked on our expedition's two-day dive package. I forgot to switch my camera on for the Wallachia. So the first dive is going to be the Greenock, a bucket dredger. None of us have ever dived this wreck before. Conditions were typical of the Clyde. It's very dark, but with a decent torch you can see a fair way. I briefly switched off my enormous video light to give you a better idea of what the conditions are like. Just running down the port side towards the bows. John Brunston has a very irritating uh, leak on his Kisri breather. We've arrived at the bows. I didn't see any jewel and enemies. This is looking down towards the seabed. Inside the interior of the vessel now, heading off to the midsections, where we hope to find the remains of a bucket dredge. Well, here are the buckets. They're about a metre across. And here's the top of the bucket dredge with a large pinion gear. The buckets and a second large pinion gear. And the Heslop bagging off for me. And the boat picking us up. It can be pretty cold diving in the Clyde in November. I'm not really a jacuzzi person, but uh, I must say they're brilliant for warming yourself up after a day on the dive boat. The first dive of the second day is a wall dive opposite uh, the Royal Naval Base at Coolport. Typical West Coast scenic dive, scallops, squat lobsters, apparently they're gorgeous to eat although I don't eat fish myself. These two had been fighting for a couple of minutes before I started the video. They both lost an arm but they're still going. This is a horse mussel considerably larger than you get elsewhere and this is a starfish feeding on a horse mussel. My dive buddy for this dive was uh, Lee Leatherbarrow from Sheffield Besac. This is a coom jelly, you can see the iridescent uh, cilia. I'm probably not going to come out unless you've got a telly, but this uh, crack is full of prawns and gobies and a spiny squat lobster. Reasonable sized edible crab and a goby. I think this is a juvenile cod, but I could well be wrong. Back to Holy Lock Marina for a bite to eat, and then we're off to the Acker. I dived this about 28 years ago and it was very intact. There's a very pronounced thermocline in the Clyde. Weirdly, it's colder on the surface than it is beneath. We're just making our way to the port midships companionway. I decided I'd have a quick swim along the companionway, but somebody had beaten me to it. So I popped out, 
run along the side of the ship. As you can see, the wreck has been overrun with brittle stars. And back into the companionway, have a look through a couple of uh, old porthole holes. Whoever was uh, in the companionway didn't go through this section. Just heading to the stern now, which is where Andy Heslop found his famous stainless steel bucket. We've got to the stern, it's got a very nice companion way and I coaxed Lee into it because he gives it a bit of perspective. She's changed tremendously since I last dived on her nearly 30 years ago. She was almost a pristine ship then and she's very much a shipwreck now. leaving the stern and heading back to the midship section. The centre of the ship is a little bit confused, so I stayed on the bulwark. Ladders leading up to uh, the midship section. Apparently a couple of the uh, top decks have collapsed recently. and we'll take advantage of the shot line to return to the surface. <laughs> 